Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Hudson and today I'm going to talk about the new waypoint types that will be appearing in iNav 2.5 and the support we have for these in Multi-Weed Planner aka MWP. So it's just over four years since issue 154, one of the very early iNav issues was raised and that requested uh, additional Multi-Weed compatible MSP um, compatible waypoint types and in 2.5 thanks to the efforts of Jackie2k, Giacomo and yours truly we, we have these waypoint types so today I'm going to talk through these waypoint types a couple of examples and a bit of detail on how, how we can plan them um, so here we have a mission loaded it has a few new waypoint types 11, 9, 4, 7 we have our fake home position, which um, we can either get to from the uh, enabling waypoints, additional waypoints by clicking on the map, or without being able to click on the map for waypoints by Control Shift H, which is great for demos and mission previews. Um, we'll also need the mission editor um, to enter some of the parameters for these new waypoint types. So, um, the, b the best competitions also do th always do things in reverse order, so let's do things in reverse order. Um, waypoint 11 is a land waypoint. It actually looks pretty much like a conventional waypoint. It has a position, it has a alt an altitude. Um, if we were doing this on a multi-rotor, we could have set a leg speed. Um, here I set the altitude to 60 meters because I wanted plenty of space to be able to bail out of it if it didn't work when I was testing it, but actually it does work, so that's good. Um, and when, when, the, when, when the vehicle reaches this waypoint, it will land, so if it's a multi-rotor, it'll just land, it'll honor the uh, motor off setting on the arm on landing, and if it's a plane, it'll circle down and reach the ground in the way that um, fixed wing landing works, sort of, in INAV. Um, so the next new waypoint I'm going to talk about is uh, waypoint 9, which is position hold timed. Again, it's a reasonable conventional waypoint. It has a position, it has an altitude. Um, its first parameter is the hold time. So if it's a multi-rotor, it will just hover there. If it's a plane, it'll, it'll loiter in a, in a circle. Um, and the second parameter is the leg speed, if, if you want to enter one. The more complex new waypoint type is jump, which we have at 4 and 7. Um, in both cases here, these are backward jumps, so we're actually creating loops in our mission. Um, they're associated with... Uh, they're, they're kind of ephemeral and are associated with a fixed waypoint type. So here we have waypoint 4, which is a normal waypoint type, position, altitude, etc. And immediately following it we have 5, which is the first jump. Um, this doesn't have a position, doesn't have an altitude, it basically just changes the state of the mission. And here we've said the target waypoint number is 2 and we are going to repeat this jump twice. Um, so INAV will do this two times, and when it comes to zero, the mission will continue, and we go on to waypoint six. It's also the case that when the counter comes to zero, it is reset, so if we enter this loop again, as we do in this mission, then the loop will happen again. Another thing we can do is set this parameter to minus one, which means infinite, so we would just fly around this thing um, until the pilot aborted the uh, waypoint flying, went back to uh, a piloted mode, or sadly the aircraft ran out of fuel. Uh, useful perhaps for testing the endurance of a new battery or a new battery type. And then, so in this mission we also have a second uh, waypoint, so it's waypoint 8 associated with 7. This just goes back to 1, which flies the outer loop an additional time. So one of the more recent things in multi Wii Planner is the ability to preview missions, and MWP uses the same algorithm as INAV, or vice versa. Um, so we should be able to get a pretty accurate indication of what's 
happens when we actually put this on an aircraft. We can invoke the preview by a hotkey, control shift X. It's on the context menu for the mission editor, right mouse menu for the mission editor. And it's also um, on the context menu for uh, the waypoints. So we have here preview mission and I'm now going to invoke that. Little model sets off. Uh, first jump, so it's going to loop round back to two again. Second loop, carry on, outer loop, back into the inner loop, so back to two, one, two, uh, back onto the outer loop, which is now exhausted, so it goes off to nine. Position hold, waypoint ten, waypoint eleven, land. Um, and after five seconds at the final waypoint, the simulation times out and we're back to normal. So that was quite a simple uh, mission. It was fairly conventional in the use of jumps in that it did backwards jumps to add loops into the mission. Um, we can also add forward loops into a mission, which means we will skip um, a particular waypoint. So let's have a look at that next. And uh, here's one I prepared earlier. So in this case, uh, let's just move this guy out of the way. We have um, position hold time at five. We have again this final jump at six uh, to waypoint one, which we've said we're now going to do three times in this instance and that's a backward jump and here at three we have this waypoint four which is a jump and we are going to jump to six and we're going to do it two times so this is a forward jump which means we'll go from three to six avoiding waypoint five and for the next bit of the video while well, I show how we create these waypoints um, if you don't want to listen to me, you might think about how many times in this mission we're actually going to visit waypoint 5. So I'm going to delete the jumps. There are two ways of doing this. We can either do it from the mission editor or we can do it from the context menu on the map. Um, when I delete or when I invoke the context menu over a jump waypoint, first of all, it doesn't allow me to change it. We'd have to go to the editor to do that. And when I delete it, it will delete the underlying jump, not the physical waypoint. So let's do that for three. There we are, it's gone. And if I wanted to delete jump waypoints from the mission editor, then I can do that from the context menu and it will just delete the jump. So there we are, that's gone again. It's now a really boring mission. Um, I'm going to put the jumps back in. And as you may have guessed, we have two ways of doing this. The first is from the waypoint pop-up menu. So I'm going to select jump um, and MWP will give it some uh, safe default values, which uh, we can see is target waypoint is one and number of iterations is one. So I'm going to change this to what I had previously, which is target is six and the number of iterations is two and you'll see the waypoint numbers have changed to take into account the fact that we've got a jump there so it's always a good idea to do these in uh, sort of numeric order um, so that waypoint numbers don't change uh, underneath you so to speak so the second one i want to add is from six to um to one and i can do this in the editor by changing the waypoint type here and again this adds my additional um, sort of ephemeral status change waypoint um, after six and here I wanted to do this three times. So let's put the mission back to the state that we originally had it in. Um, I'm now going to invoke the preview um, from the context menu here um, and after I start it, you'll see this changes to stop, so I can abort the preview at any time. So, preview mission. Off we go. Uh, first jump, avoiding five. Second jump, back to one. Uh, 
first jump again we've still got one in it um, second jump we've now exhausted that jump so we go to waypoint five it's back to six back to one come back into this first jump again which has been recharged we've uh, we've exhausted the final one so we return home and the preview times out after five seconds there we are um, so if you guessed it was going to go to five once or you worked it out um, that was the correct answer so there we are that's our quick look at the new waypoint types coming in INAV 2.5 uh, due to the current COVID-19 situation, um, we don't know when that's going to be yet because most of the developers can't actually fly and test stuff. And yes, we actually do that. Um, the new way way waypoint types have actually all been flight tested. Um, so it should be working. There's been a bit of additional working in the navigation engine, so it'll need a final test before release. And as we've seen, MWP is is ready um, when 2.5 comes out to uh, enable planning of such missions. So that's all for today. Thanks very much to w for watching. Um, comments in, in, in the place provided below. Um, any issues related to this or other MWP issues uh, in the GitHub tracker, please. Uh, thank you very much and safe flying. <laughs>